Welcome to another episode of Stu's Logistics. This is our little intro we're trying to work on. Yeah. Say what's up? What's up, YouTube? Yeah, let it up. Y'all looking all clean tonight. That truck looking good tonight, bro. Hey, but uh, we're gonna get on with the episode and what we're gonna talk about. Stay tuned. Traffic tonight because I slept at a rest area. 
and they ain't really had nowhere to park, so I just parked out in the middle behind some trucks. And I woke up at six that morning, got a parking spot because everybody else that was there before me had finally left. Finished my 10 hour break. I did four more hours and then I took off, took off road. So now I'm in Ohio, a few hours later I'm in Ohio. And they tell me, they call me, the broker, JB Hunt. They call me and say, hey, since uh, they took all that time loading you, since they took all that time loading you in Stockbridge, Georgia, what we gonna do is we gonna reschedule your appointment since you couldn't make it this morning at eight, we gonna reschedule it tomorrow as early as possible. I asked the guy, I said, what is early as possible? Tell me that. He said, well, uh, between seven and eight o'clock. I mean, seven and 12. Between zero seven and, and uh, 1200. All right. I said, cool, I can do that. I'm only three hours away. So instead of me going all the way there, because I looked it up on the map, Google Maps, and I can't park nowhere up there. So what I did was, I went another hour up the road, so I was two hours away. Did what I needed to do, went to sleep, you know what I'm saying? Uh, used bathroom and, 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 and shower. Next morning I got up around Six o'clock, boom, gas to the floor. It's got to get there. Because I'm going in Toledo, downtown Toledo at that. I get there, they doing construction on the road, got the road blocked off. A truck ain't even supposed to be down that road where the construction at, but that's, that's where the building at, where I got to deliver. I get there, wait in line, Bust the seal on the trailer, open the doors, get ready to back in. The guy come out there and say, hey, you're supposed to be here yesterday. I said, man, I know about that. I know I was supposed to be here yesterday. They took forever loading me. They took nine, eight, nine hours loading me. So what am I supposed to do? Man, the man say, well, let me go talk to my boss. I said, yeah, because they told me to be here this morning between 7 and between 7 and noon. It's 7.45. I'm here. I'm getting ready to back into the door. The guy go in and talk to his boss. He tell me not to back into the door. He go in and talk to his boss and come back out. He's like, hey man, we can't accept you to the bar. I'm mad now. Because they took me over loading me which made me miss my appointment. And then they set a new, well at least they called me and told me they set a new appointment. I get there and the people on the other end, the receiver don't know what's going on. All that said and done, I call my, I call my people. I say, hey man, these guys talking about they ain't gonna, uh, said that was like all right hold on for a second let us get on the phone and call they get on the phone they call the people they bickering back and forth by me getting loaded night night i mean me getting unloaded night getting unloaded and all this other nonsense at the end of the day i just want the trailer unloaded so i can go on to the next load i sat there for about another hour while they bickering back and forth but I decided I was going there and talk to the people. I went in there and talked to the people. The guy said, man, we can't, off to, we can't offload you till Tuesday. Now, it's Friday now. They're talking about they can't offload me until Tuesday. I called my guys back to let them know. About another 15 minutes ago by, they called me and said, hey, go in there and check in again. We got you covered. I go in there to check in again. And the guy 
I said, well, you need to talk to my boss. I said, well, tell your boss to come in so I can talk to him then. Boss never shows up. I said, man, what y'all gonna do? Cause I ain't even finna sit here all day. That was like, uh, well, my boss said he talked to your dispatcher. So you call your dispatcher. I call my dispatcher. My dispatcher said, yeah, they said they have to, I'll take you on Tuesday. I said, all right, cool. I said, well, I'm going to a truck stop. But before I left to go to the truck stop, I went in there one more time. And the guy was like, no, we can't offload you on Tuesday. We told your dispatchers we'll offload you on uh, on Friday. Now I'm talking about Friday, like Friday coming up. Not Friday just passed. <laughs> oh, no, Lord, that's a whole week. You expect these ties to sit on my trailer for a week? That man said, we can't do nothing. You missed your appointment. Bro, I ain't missed my appointment because I wanted to. I missed my appointment because I ain't had no choice. The guys didn't load. Now I got to pay for their pocket for, for them messing up. It's all said and done or whatever. I'm sorry about the video shaking that much. I got it on the mountain inside the truck. But all said and done, that uh I went to the truck stop. Sat at the truck stop for about two more hours. It's a total of three hours that I, from the time I got there to the time I left. That includes the truck stop and all. So the truck stop was like uh, six miles away, so I ain't, it didn't take me long to get there. But I got there and um, Dispatcher trying to find a place where I can cross dock. Now cross docking is where you uh got a load and instead of taking it to the receiver, you take it to a warehouse, they offload it, and then when it's time for it to go to the receiver, they load it on another truck and take it to the receiver. That's cross dock. They can't find a place to cross dock, then they finally come and say, hey man, you got enough time to make it to Addison? Man, what are you talking about? I need, about I need to go to Addison. Addison is in Illinois. I'm in Toledo, Ohio. That 250 something, like 250, 260 miles away. Hey man, y'all gonna pay me for this? Y'all got to pay me for these miles, y'all. I ain't missed my appointment due to my failure. If I missed it because of something I did, I can understand not getting paid a deadhead. Well, yeah, the deadhead that far. So, I run from Toledo, Ohio to Addison, Illinois, which is just outside, just west of Chicago, off of uh, I-355. I do that, drop the trailer, get a whole nother trailer that's empty, and after I get the other trailer that's empty, now I got a dead head all the way down to Edwardsville, Illinois, which is 300 miles away to the south. That's how I drove 50, uh, 250 miles, 260 miles that, uh, the previous day. So you know I'm mad now. <laughs> you know I'm mad. That's been my my last suit. Wednesday. E Thursday. That's been that's been what's been going on since Thursday last week. It's now uh, what Tuesday morning, July the second. But I uh, picked up that load in Edwardsville. Get in your lane. I picked up that load in Edwardsville, Illinois, and took it to Duncan, Oklahoma. They picked up another load in uh, Chickasha, 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 something like that, Chick something. Chickasha, 
chicks, y'all. I think that might be it. Oklahoma. And now I'm going back towards uh, Indiana. Now, hopefully, they load, they, they pre-plan my load. And when I get this uploaded, all I got to do is give me a short hop from Lebanon or Lebanon, depending on who you're talking to, Indiana, up to Chicago. Boom, drop that load off. Get the other trailer with the tires on it. Take it from Chicago, 256 miles back to Toledo, Ohio. But I kind of like this new trailer I got because it's, it's straight. The other trailer is all, the passenger side was all in and out like that there. So, this here track a little bit better, track the straight line and all the other stuff. So I don't know, I might not want to do that. But that's all that's been going on with me for the last couple days. I just decided I'd give y'all a little update. Oh yeah, Minnie me still sleeping. That's all he do is sleep. So, I'll holler at y'all later on. Y'all have y'all a good day.